In this lesson, we will focus CDP. CDP, Cisco Discovery Protocol, is a neighbor discovery protocol, works on layer 2. It is a Cisco proprietary protocol. With CDP, Cisco devices are discovered. It is designed for Cisco devices, but other devices can use CDP with license. CDP is enabled on Cisco devices by default. In this example, we will learn how to enable it if it is disabled. We will also learn how to disable CDP, and we will also learn other CDP options. Let's check CDP commands on switch 0. To enable CDP globally, we use CDP run command. By default, it is already running. By default, CDP is enabled for all ports. If it is not enabled, to enable it, we use CDP enable command. For example, let's enable CDP for fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 interface. Under the interface, we will use CDP enable command. Because of the limitations, we cannot use all CDP options in Packet Tracer. But I will give some information about these options also. CDP has some timers. We can adjust these CDP timers in global configuration mode. They are not accepted here also, but you can use these commands in a full iOS. In Packet Tracer, all Cisco commands are not available. Now let's verify CDP configurations with show commands. The first show command is show CDP command. Here, we learn that CDP packets are sending every 60 seconds. Our hold time is 180 seconds. The version of CDP is version 2. By writing show CDP question mark, we can check our options. Let's firstly check CDP entry command. Here, we will enter the name of the CDP entry. I will use router and switch names to display connected router and the switches. As you can see, the detailed information about the router is here. Let's do the same thing for switch. Here are the switches. You can see even their models here. With show CDP interface command, we can check CDP interfaces. The interfaces that run Cisco Discovery Protocol. Our CDP interfaces are listed here. You can also check the CDP neighbors with show CDP neighbors command. According to the output, a router is connected to the fast Ethernet 0 slash 5 of the switch. And on fast Ethernet 0 slash 4, there is an IP phone. On fast Ethernet 0 slash 2, there is a switch. Here, we do not see any PC. This is normal. In this neighbor table, we can see also the model of the routers and switches. For example, the IP phone is 7960. And the model series of the switches and routers, etc. Now let's try something and disable CDP 
on fast ethernet 0 slash 1. To do this, we will go under this interface and use no CDP enable command. When we check CDP neighbors, we will still see the device connected to fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. But when we clear CDP table with clear CDP table command, it will disappear. The other devices will come to the table one by one, but the devices connected to fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 will not come because CDP is disabled on that interface. As you can see, all of them are here except fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Let's enable CDP on fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 again. Now we do not need to use clear CDP table command again. The interface will be displayed shortly in this CDP neighbor table. Yes, it is here. In this video, we have learned Cisco CDP commands. Do not forget to subscribe. Good luck.